Hello everyone, this is Charles Costa, and in this video we are going to go over how to manually back up your WordPress website. The reason you would want to do this is because sometimes you might have a client website where the, pay the database is too large to back it up using a plugin. Sometimes you just want to make sure that the backup you have will work when you need it. And there are other times where you don't want to be locked into proprietary formats. Right now we are on our test website. To begin the backup process, you first extract the MySQL database from your WordPress website. We're going to go over into cPanel and now we will go over to the backups tab. Right now, you would go over to the MySQL database backup and select the WordPress database from the list. Download that. Now we have the WordPress database ready to go. The next step is to log into your FTP program. Select your website files. Now you would copy them over to your computer. We already copy them over to speed up the video, but when you do this on your own website, expect it to take maybe half an hour to a couple hours, depending on your internet connection and the size of your website. That's the basics of how to back up your WordPress website manually. Now we're going to come back and we're going to go over how to restore the website from this backup. Once you have your backup complete, doing the restore is a fairly straightforward process. You would go back to the directory where you have your files backed up. You would select them. Then you would copy them over to your server. Make sure that you're using the same folder that you originally created the backup under, otherwise the WordPress restore isn't going to go through. You would then go to your cPanel, go down to backups. Under the MySQL database area, you would go to the restore, choose the file, Find your MySQL database backup, then you would upload that. From there, your website should be back to normal, and you would log into it as usual, just like you would before. That is how you can manually backup and restore your WordPress website. 